qualifying for the World Cup. And now they're about to achieve what no other team in the Philippines has done before. And they're doing it in front of the home crowd. Not much time remaining. The referee has looked at her watch. There it is. The Philippines are your 2022 AFF Women's Champions. History. Right here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. We've been waiting over a century for this. And now they've done it. The Filipinas are the best in Southeast Asia. Yes, tonight we sit at the top of Southeast Asia. What a fantastic performance it's been. A well-calculated campaign from the coaching staff. They've done everything right from start to finish. And you can just hear this crowd and you can just see what it means. I can't be, been involved in this a long time, Jing, and I just could not wait for this moment to happen. And it's, it's somewhat surreal, somewhat a journey. What a group of players, what a moment. Three nil, the final score. Jessica Coward got us started in just the seventh minute. Katrina Guillou followed up before the 20 minute mark. And it wasn't until the very end that Serena Bolden sealed the victory. And it had to be Serena Bolden. Yes, it had to be her. She's led the line. She's been fantastic. She's been supported by every single line behind her as well. I mean, it takes a very, very long time to put together a squad as special as this. It's just been coming, it's been coming, it's been coming. And now we can finally say that we have a championship side, a national team that has won a trophy. That's right, Darren. The Philippines are finally champions. They've been waiting a long time to get to this stage, and they did it in fantastic fashion. A 4-0 drubbing of the reigning champions of Southeast Asia to make it into the final and up against the most successful team in this region. A 3-0 victory in the final. This wasn't by chance. This wasn't by luck. This is a fully deserved title for the Philippines. Well, it comes in eras, and this is most certainly the start of what is going to be a fantastic era for not just Philippine football, but obviously for the, the girls' football. This is going to be so inspiring. I mean, I'm a dad now with three girls myself, and I just can't wait to see my girls out on the field playing, inspired by these. And I'm sure there are just loads and loads of girls at home watching this thinking what do i need to do to be out there on that field experiencing what these girls are experiencing right now as they take their lap of honor for the philippines a victory lap for a squad that has achieved so much over the last few months and they've capped it off here in the philippines in magnificent fashion Unbelievable. I just think how fit they are. I mean, they've just finished a campaign <laughs> and I mean, they're getting around that pitch quicker than what most people can get around a pitch. And the crowd tonight, the crowd, Jing, they played a huge, huge, huge part. Huge part. Coach Alan Stajic, an ovation for the Australian who has masterminded this resurgence in the Filipinas. You have to say, he said this side deserved a packed crowd. He's got it tonight. And now they have witnessed and become part of history tonight.
they deserve a packed crowd every time they step out on the pitch now. We support 